In the world of spy family, the Forger family, for those who don't know any better, are a lovable family of three that consists of the father, Lloyd Forger, who works at the hospital, the daughter, Anya Forger, who attends the prestigious Eden Academy, and the wife and mother, Your Forger, who works at City Hall during the daytime. However, while each member of the family is hiding a secret and is merely keeping up appearances of a fake family for the sake of keeping their cover, there are times throughout the story where you start to see signs that there is more to the Forger family than meets the eye and that the seeds are being planted for them to become a real family by the end of the series. And in today's Spy Family video, we're going to be looking at one of the more wholesome and funnier moments in the series that shows you just how much Anya has changed Lloyd Forger from when we first introduced to the character, evident by the well thought out gift that Lloyd gave to Anya during the story. So as we all know, part of Lloyd's mission was to start up a fake family and have his daughter Anya attend Eden Academy so it'd be easier for Lloyd to make contact with the target of his mission. Donovan Desmond. However, Lloyd's first plan was to have Anya make friends with Donovan's son, Damien, only for Anya to punch him in the face and embarrass Damien a few times in the story. And there were other instances that made it clear that Lloyd might need to go another route towards accomplishing his goal. However, even though Anya didn't quite live up to his expectations, especially when it comes to the academics, there were growing signs that Lloyd was beginning to view Anya as being more than just a means to an end. And it's become noticeable to the people that know Lloyd the very best. His handler has taken notice of this. Frankie has taken notice of this. And his comrade Fiona, i.e. Agent Nightfall, has taken notice of the way that Anya and Yor have changed Lloyd. And it's due to the small things like we're about to discuss that show just how much Lloyd Forge has changed and why the people closest to him have reminded him that he's only on a mission and he's not supposed to get attached. So in chapter 68.1 of the Spy Family manga, Lloyd has a moment where he's looking at Anya's test and he sees that she scored a 7 on a test and at least Lloyd thinking of ways he can make her into a better student and the brilliant and wholesome ideas that Lloyd comes up with really highlight the change in my opinion for his character. He first thinks about drawing Anya a custom manga for the Spy Wars series in order to better educate her thinking that the original stories might be enough to help her retain the information. Then he remembers that she seems to enjoy the cartoon better than the manga and he decided to head into an undisclosed location to begin drawing the next episode of the cartoon, drawing each frame for the episode himself in a near replica of what the actual anime slash cartoon looks like. Lloyd, he doesn't stop there either. He even goes as far as to put all of his talents as a spy to work by handling all the voiceover work for himself, which makes a lot of sense. Someone who is a master of disguise should be able to change his voice absolutely perfectly, especially if he's watched the show enough times with Anya to memorize all the small details about each of the characters. Surely the voices would be no problem for Lloyd. After all, this is Agent Twilight, a spy above all spies. After Frankie handles all the coloring and the music and the sound effects, the two of them, they finish production on the show and Lloyd rushes home in order to give Anya the new episode so she can look at it. In the episode, Lloyd has all these mathematical equations being referenced and it's all hidden by the action of the show and is so well thought out of a storyline that it might have been a little too well thought out for Anya to follow, especially when things transition over to the history section of the episode and by the the time that it ends, Anya ruins Lloyd's whole afternoon and hard work by looking at him and saying not only does the show suck, but she says it's way too complicated for her to follow along. Now the thing about this is that the expression it's the thought that counts really comes into mind here to describe the situation, but even though that's a cliche phrase, it definitely is fitting when you start talking about the growth of Lloyd Forger as a character, Lloyd Forger as a husband, and Lloyd Forger as a father. Lloyd could have just stuck to trying to tutor Anya like he did before. He could have even had your reach out to Yuri and see if Yuri could have made progress with Anya like he did before. However, this time he's yet again put himself in a position to act out a character slightly for the benefit of Anya. We all remember how he didn't hesitate to rent out a whole park and pack it with wise agents and he had that fight with Yor where Yor was completely drunk and they duked it out all for Anya's amusement. Well, we're seeing a very similar thing here, but for this time, while the gift itself is expensive, the amount of effort that Lloyd went through for Anya, it really shows that Anya's warmed his way into his heart. To put this into perspective for you, the amount of work that Lloyd had to do to produce one episode just on the animation by itself is insane. The average anime has 3,000 frames for a 20 minute episode. Weekly anime that pay a really nice size, like say Borto, that has between four and 5,000 frames per episode, or high produced anime like Attack on Titan that can have between 7,000 and 10,000 frames in one episode, that's a lot of drawing being done 
right here, including all the backgrounds. And when you look at it and say Lloyd likely just did the bare minimum to get Anya what she needs, that's 3,000 perfectly drawn frames for the episode, all for his daughter. He also did all the voice work for each of the characters so Anya would be fooled. You hear all the time about how parents will do anything for their kids, whether it be spare no expense or spare no amount of time if it means helping their kids. And that's something we see here with Lloyd trying to make something really special for Anya that's tailored directly towards her with the hope of trying to make her into a better student. It shows that he cares enough about her that he was observant enough in her day-to-day -day activities that he knew this was going to be a good enough shot to try and make things work for his daughter. All that time he spent trying to make the animation for, he might have been better off trying to directly tutor her, which it is debatable if that works, but the old Lloyd Forger would have came to that conclusion because it's the most practical. Ever since the arc with the cruise ship where you had Lloyd and he was holding both Yor and Anya, both of them fast asleep in his arms while Lloyd's walking back to the cruise ship, Lloyd has started to show more changes and I very much believe that this is one of our strongest signs that Lloyd is learning more and more about Anya and he's leaning more into viewing Anya as being his real daughter. Perhaps even after the mission is over, making her his real daughter and not just a daughter that he needs to keep up for the sake of appearances. The thing about this gift is that even though it fell flat with Anya and she certainly can't appreciate what it is that Lloyd did for her, we as readers see exactly what pains that Lloyd went through in order to make this happen, which is a great use of dramatic irony while also using Anya for comedic relief. The longer Lloyd spent time with Anya, the more we've seen more of his parental instincts begin to kick in whenever he's around her, and I don't think that that's by mistake either. Anya and Yor are continuing to change Lloyd in so many different ways. To think that the guy who started off the series is somewhat cold and emotionless in the first couple of chapters, where he was focused only on the mission and didn't care about breaking any hearts, this is the same guy who is now going out of his way to bend over backwards for a little girl who he adopted. While it's easy to say that it's for the sake of his mission, there was something deeper here. However, that's just my thoughts on this. I'm curious to know how you guys viewed this scene and which scene do you believe in the series shows that Lloyd's begun to be changed the most by Anya? Why well, you think that overclick here to watch these other spy family videos you see on the screen right now.